In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 9, Section 4, Calculator Permitted. We're still early on. We're on question 5 and 5 and 6. This is a paired question, so both those questions refer to the following information. And let's just take a look at this graph. We've got the temperature of a cup of coffee during an experiment. On the x-axis, that's the time since the cup was removed from a heat source in minutes, and on the y is the temperature. And you can see this is not linear decline. Right, this is exponential, right? It's curved, it's not a straight line. So let's read the information. In an experiment, a heated cup of coffee is removed from the heat source, and the cup of coffee is then left in a room that is kept at a constant temperature. The graph above shows the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit F of the coffee immediately after being removed from the heat source at 10 minute intervals thereafter. And so even though the temperature of the room is constant, this is the effect that removing the coffee from the heat source and how it it decreases in uh, the temperature once it's removed and so right away you can see is there's a pretty steep uh, um, drop it went from almost 200 degrees in the first 10 minutes down to like 150 and then there's more of a gradual decline and then it kind of like tapers off and, and stays steady so let's look at the first question number five so five and six both relate to this information of the following, which approximates the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit of the coffee when it's first removed? So first removed, that's in the very beginning. This is, think about, that's the, the y-intercept, right? First removed, it's when the time is zero. And it looks to be really close to 200, just a little bit below. Let's look at the choices. 195. So the answer here is D. And number six also deals with the information. During which of the ten, following 10 minute intervals does the temperature of the coffee decrease at the greatest average rate? And just from reading the graph initially, we kind of know this intuitively. And if you look at this function, we can see we talked about this in the very beginning, right? Because it's immediately removed and it was almost 200, and then it goes right down to about 150 in the first 10 minutes, and then it's more of a, uh, of a tapered effect. And so it's going to be in the beginning here um, between 0 and 10. A is the answer. All right, let's take a look at number seven. This is the last question on this page. Note, figure not drawn to scale. In the figure above, AD intersects BE at C. If X is 100, what's the value of Y? So they're just a pretty straightforward geometry question. And we've got two lines that intersect at C. And we're given that X is 100. So we know we've got a triangle here. Even though it's not drawn to scale, we still have a triangle. And so we know obviously a triangle adds up to 180. So this is 60. And we also have vertical angles, right? These are gonna be equal always. And so we have another triangle. And so we just add these up, it's 100. And so what's left for Y is 80.